Let's look at a formula for completing the square. Now this method I find that is not often taught. You don't see it in too many textbooks. And I think it's because it might be a little bit difficult to remember it. Nevertheless, I want to show you and I'll leave it up to you to decide whether you want to use it in future homework and exercises. Good, so we have an equation that it's in standard form, a quadratic equation that it's in standard form. We know that a, b, and c are constants. So just like before, let's complete the square of this equation. So we factor out a from the first two terms. So a, open bracket, we end up with x squared plus b over a, because we're factoring out a out of b, x, close bracket, bring down the c. The next line, we're going to complete, uh, turn this expression into a perfect square trinomial. So x squared plus b over a x. Let's leave some space there. Close bracket. Let's bring down the c. Next, what we do is, just like before, we divide this term by 2 and then we square the result. So if we divide it by 2, we're going to end up with b over 2a. And then if we square this result, b over 2a squared, we're going to end up with b squared over 4a squared. So plus b squared over 4a squared minus b squared over 4a squared. Close bracket, bring down the c. Next, let's take these three terms and let's factor them since they are a perfect square trinomial. So we end up with the following. Let's move this up a little more. We end up with a, open the square brackets, open parentheses, x plus b over 2a squared minus b squared over 4a squared. Close the square brackets, bring down the c. Next, we need to bring the a into um, the square brackets. So we use the distributive law for that. And let's continue on with that. Let's move up a little more. So a times this expression will give us a x plus b over 2a squared and positive times negative. Negative a times this expression will give us b squared over 4. The a squared here will cancel out. So we end up with 4a at the bottom plus c. So here, so if we were to look at this final equation right here, let's uh, put this in a rectangle, in a box. Okay, if we were to look at this, then we're looking at what will be the vertex of this equation. Well, the vertex of this equation is this, is open bracket negative b 2a comma, and the y value would be this, negative b squared over 4a plus c, which we can actually simplify that, add those two fractions, but I'll leave it like that for now. So essentially, remember at the beginning we said that a, b, and, and c are constants, right? a, b, and c correspond to the a, b, and c um, constant terms of the quadratic equation in standard form. So in other words, if we're given an equation in standard form, if we know this, um, that this represents that this represents the x-coordinate of the vertex and this represents the y-coordinate of the vertex, then we can simply plug in those values and figure out what the, uh, what the vertex of the, this equation is. And, um, and that is all. So in this, we know that it's going to be either our maximum or minimum value. Of course, we should always know how to complete the square if they ask us to show the equation in vertex form, the standard equation in vertex form, which would be this right here. And um, if you have any questions, let me know, and don't forget to subscribe.